We're here in Ancona, Italy at the Messi and Poloni factory with my good friend Stefano Messi. In this third video of this series, we're going to take a look at the jacketing process of coaxial cable, this time on Ham Radio Tube. Did you know that viewers of Ham Radio Tube can save 10% off all your Messi and Poloni purchases? You can either order from Gigaparts or directly from Messi and Poloni. United States and Canada orders also directly from Messi and Poloni will get free shipping. All you have to do is use code KNMRD at checkout. So, uh, these are the granules, the PVC granules. It can be PVC, it can be polyethylene, it can be a lotion free jacket, you know, uh, different colors. So these granules are, uh, are taken from here by means of a vacuum. It will be going up there with, where is the funnel. Again, it will be preheated so that we get rid of any sort of moisture, condensation, or whatsoever. So after that, it goes down to the funnel down there. And, uh, and then we'll go inside the extruder, it will be mounted, and by means of the screw, it will be brought towards the extrusion head. The braided wire, there's a braided coaxial cable, it's being unrolled and, uh, and brought here towards the extrusion head. So that it will be possible to make the jacket. The braided coaxial cable, uh, which is not coaxial cable yet, it will be a coaxial cable starting from now. I mean, here, the, the, the braid is going throughout the extrusion head and it's coming out in the jacket. So, that's the braid here, that's the jacket here. And it will pass through the extrusion head where it will receive all the melted PVC or polyethylene or allergen tray and it will pass through these are dye, you know. Uh, these are special dyes which are different according to the sort of uh, material that we are going to use. And uh, it will, the braided wire will pass through the inner hole and, uh, and uh, the flow of the melted PVC or the melted jacket in general will pass uh, around, all around. Immediately after, the, the, the cable with the jacket will go inside the cooling pool. Uh, and again, the cooling pool is, uh, has to have the same temperature, winter and summer, so the water is conditioned. So uh, it's a very, very long pool because we've got to uh, cool down the jacket in process as much as possible before, before it arrives to the first third. I mean, for third, I mean, we pass through a big wheel when it's starting to make several turns around before being uh, uh, gaffer inside a, a bigger bobbin. Here again, there is a blowing machine. It's blowing away the drops of water which are over the jacket. And why? Because uh, from this part, from this place up to here, uh, there are two sensors. One is checking out the diameter, the correct diameter of the of the, of the outer jacket. You know, so the overall diameter. And the other one is checking for the lamp neck down. So uh, if there are some sort of imperfections for the jacket, it will be defective. So let's look at here how precise is the, is the measuring. It's the laser gauge. Then we should pass through here. Here we have got a spark tester. Uh, there is a corona effect again. And uh, we're using uh, 3.4 kilo, kilovolts. So the corona effect, 3.4 kilovolts all around. If there is even a tiny hole, it will be detected and an alarm will ring over there. And here we have got the printing. So the printing is, uh, is made uh, by using several elements. Uh, one of these is a dot number. It's like a number plate in a car. So each production bobbin will have its own lot number. And uh, for, for each lot number, it will be recorded the, the diameter of the core, the diameter of the dielectric, 
the capacitance of the dielectric and the diameter of the jacket. So each lot has got all this stuff recorded, all this data recorded. And uh, we've got two printing machines. We are printing on white in the black jackets and in the, in the white jackets we are printing in black, of course. Uh, this again is our, it's called capstan. So the capstan is taking the cable and is uh, pulling the cable gently and the cable will go over there. It will pass through the wheels several times. It's a, it's a machine is called compensator. So it uh, makes us a compensation and it gives the chance to the operator to have time to change the bobbin in the final process of gathering the cable inside, inside the bigger bobbin. Now that we've seen how the jacket and the label are applied to the coaxial cable, in the next video in this series, we're gonna take this giant drum and shrink it down to a more manageable size that you'll be able to purchase.